welcome to the Fortinet Feature Showcase. Uh, today, actually, something a bit of an accident happened. I was looking for Camtasia alternatives and decided I wanted to go look at, hey, let's look at some free ones. And the reason why is because I, I do know that the Command Shift 5 will go ahead and initiate screen capture, but I wanted a few more options for editability or whatnot. Sure, I could use iVideo uh, or maybe even uh, Creative Cloud, if, you know, if that was something, but I wanted something more geared like Camtasia. So I came across these, I saw FF Split, it was Windows only, so I decided to click on Cam Studio. And what I found was, okay, this could actually work for me. So I went ahead and clicked download. I got a little nervous when I saw this come up. I said, but you know what, I'll play along and let's go ahead and see what we end up with. This screen popped. Now, I haven't seen this. I don't normally see this screen, actually. I've never seen this screen up until the morning of the 7th when I was initially doing this search. So it piqued my interest. Normally, what, you end up, what I end up seeing is this if I violate my own policy that I set or if I'm testing something. So this one actually quite intrigued me. So I took a look at my FortiGate, and the first thing I saw was because it was AdWare Agent, I knew to go look in the, uh, in the antivirus logs. And what I found was something like this. Now I'll have to actually showcase it via 4D Analyzer. And this, it wasn't sure about this, so what it ended up doing is it actually submitted it to my 4D Sandbox. So I ended up following the trail to 4D Sandbox, and you can see the Cam Studio here. And he went ahead and ran it in the Sandbox environment and rated it as malicious or AdWord. So if we Go ahead and check out the timeline on this log. You can see where he's actually figured out that he's malicious, either by a signature or by by the fact that he ran him in the sandbox environment. The sandbox knew that this uh, this this binary, this executable, was malicious, and it sent the message back to the Fortigate. And therefore, now the Fortigate, anytime he sees any instance of this Cam Studio, he's going to know to block it because. He, the uh, sandbox went ahead and gave him an updated, essentially an antivirus update. And now this is typically communicated back up to uh, FortiGuard Labs as well as the rest of your security fabric so that nobody else has to actually submit this to a sandbox. This is a known bad file now. I hope this was a helpful demonstration on how FortiGate and Forty Sandbox can help protect you from unknown malicious threats out there. Coming up next in the series is going to be a demonstration on how 40 Mail, 40 Gate, and 40 Sandbox can help protect you from phishing and uh, malicious files coming through email. Thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.